Today I want to share with you a simple yet very very powerful automation that I've built using N8N and Bright Data. Bright Data is providing the scraping and this automation will allow you to scrape your competitors trust pilot reviews and then um, using N8N and an LLM you are going to get all the reviews summarized and based on the summary of the reviews you will get um, winning ad copy which you can send to your copywriter you can send to your media buyer you can add to your landing page etc now i will walk you through this uh, automation um, it's a pretty simple automation as i said before the most of the heavy lifting is being done by bright data which is scraping the reviews and take care of captcha rate limits etc this is why this is so powerful and very useful basically um I'm assuming that most of you know Trustpilot. Trustpilot is a platform that provides uh, mostly unbiased reviews about products. So it's a good resource if you're looking for uh, reviews, if you're not sure about the product that you wanna buy, you can come here. And Trustpilot is doing a pretty efficient job in terms of removing uh, fake reviews. So let's take as an example, Clavio, which is a company that is providing um, email marketing mostly for e-com brands this is their uh, reviews these are the reviews now let's assume that i'm their competitor i have a crm or an email service provider and i want to know what exactly most of the customers uh, complain about in clavio because i want to incorporate this into my copy into my ads into uh, the images that i have on my ads into my faq section in my landing page etc so what, what we can do is use the automation that I've built. Now it's also available for you in the N10 marketplace. You can just come copy and paste it. Now let me walk you through um, the automation. So basically it's very straightforward. All you have to do is change the API, uh, the API uh, keys for Bright Data, which I will explain to you more about Bright Data in a moment. You need to adjust the API to the LLM and also adjust the APIs to your uh, Google um, to your Google user. So basically, what happens? First, you submit submit a form, and this form is going to contain the URL, the clave, the Trustpilot URL of your competitor. Then, based on this URL, uh, you are sending a request to Bright Data to scrape the specific URL and it's going to return the data in a structured manner. What you can do, you can come here to Bright Data and see exactly the structure uh, and all the results that you are going to get. So basically this is the scraper and over here we have all the information regarding the field that we are going to get. So we have the company name, the review ID, review date, review rating, etc. And all we, all we need to provide, as I said in the form, is the URL and the date posted. We can select whether or not we want reviews for, from the last 30 days, the last three months, last six months, or last 12 months. So after we send this request in N10, we are going to start a polling loop. Basically what this loop does, um, we are going to wait a few minutes until the Bright Data Scraper is going to finish scraping, hopefully. And then we are checking the progress, whether or not the scraper has finished. If it did finish, we are moving forward to request uh, from Bright Data the data set, what it, uh, what it, what uh, the data that he has already scraped. If uh, we check the snapshot and it hasn't finished yet, meaning the scraper is still running, we are going to loop back to the waiting point and then wait um, five, six, ten more minutes. That depends on what you, you define. I define two minutes. And then we are going to do this, um, we are going to check this again, whether or not the scraper has finished uh, scraping. If we did finish scraping, we are going to, again, we are going to get the data from uh, Bright Data. And all the data is going to be um, extracted into a Google spreadsheet, which you can basically um, clone. And as you can see here, we have the company, the review URL, date posted, the timestamp, the input, the company email, and we have a lot of data about, about um, I mean, all the reviews and all the information. So this is this, this is extracted into a Google spreadsheet, which we can use later 
if you want but what we are doing in the next step we are filtering out only the bad reviews because these are the reviews uh, that we want to address so we are filtering out reviews that have one star or two stars which are the lowest uh, amount of stars possible then we are, are aggregating all the bad reviews and we are setting them into a, an LLM that the LLM will digest it. So basically I'm using OpenAI. You can use whichever models that you would like. And what we are doing, we are setting the, the, the following prompt. Read the following bad reviews. These are reviews of our competitor. After reading them, summarize their weakest, their weakest points. Don't mention the competitor name. Write three different ad copies for our uh, Facebook ads campaign addressing these uh, concerns. So this is a very simple prompt. You can obviously adjust it. You can add more information about your company. You can ask it to write, um, not necessarily ads copy, you can ask it to write an FAQ or a script for a UGC content creator based on uh, these concerns, etc. Now, after we get the response from the LLM, this response is sent to the marketing team via Gmail. And you can see here a summary that I already generated. So this is what we are getting based on the following Trustpilot page. Here is a summary of recent complaints, including ideas for ad copy. So again, this is a summary of the complaints of customers um, about Clavio from the Trustpilot page. So first of all, customers complain about customer support issues. Then they also complain about complex pricing structure. They also complain about account manage management problems. They complain about lack of transparency. And um, they complain about limited pre-sale support. So for example, potential customers report that they have faced barriers in accessing necessary information before purchasing, indicating a lack of support for inquiries about the service. So this is a summary of the negative reviews. And over here, we have the ads copy that was generated by the LLM. So the headline, which we can be used in Facebook ads or LinkedIn ads or whatever, tired of poor support, we've got your back. Switch to a service that prioritizes you with our dedicated customer support team. You'll never feel lost or alone. Enjoy real conversation, timely responses, and hassle-free experiences. Plus, our transparent pricing model ensures you only have to pay what you use. Discover the difference today. So this is one excellent ad. Another different ad is say goodbye to hidden fees and confusing pricing. This addresses the complaints over here about the complex pricing structure. And frustrated, the, the body of the, of the ad is going to be frustrated with sudden price hike and unclear billing. Our easy to understand pricing plans are designed around your actual needs with no surprises. Enjoy peace of mind knowing you won't be charged for unused services. Join us for a more straightforward solution for your marketing needs. So this is another excellent example. And last but not least is um, an ad about your data should be in your hands. And this is the body. I'm not going to uh, read it all because it's pretty um, straightforward. Just an example. Over here, we are also attaching um, more bad reviews, which the media buyer or whoever is uh, in charge of this in the marketing team can read all the other bad reviews and based on this we have a better understanding of what we can use in our uh, advertising campaigns because we can spot um, the leading players the leading competitors in the ecosystem then we can just scrape their trust pilot reviews filter what customer complain about and then just address it in a copy so obviously as i said you can adjust this automation uh, this is a specific prompt to add more context about your company. You can add an FAQ. You can basically do whatever you want. This is why it's so powerful. Now, in terms of bright data, you don't now need to know much about um, how to use the backend because I basically um, created the HTTP request in NA10 in a, in a manner that is just plug and play. But just so you know, bright data has many more uh, web scrapers that are ready to use and it's very easy to get up and running. So over here, as I said, you have all the data that is going to be generated. Over here, you can build the API request. And over here, you can get information regarding how you can uh, pull 
the, the scraper and how you can get the results. You obviously can generate webhooks. Um, you can get notified um, if there are any errors, etc. So a lot of uh, functionality is very um, convenient and very powerful, and they also have great documentation. So definitely check them out. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. The whole idea is to show you how you can use different powerful tools in order to generate automations that are actually meaningful. Um, you don't necessarily even need AI agents or custom code in order to make impactful automations. So make sure to check out this workflow. It's available in the marketplace. I'm going to leave uh, the link in the description. If you have any questions, feedback, please leave them in the comment section. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on automating.